1 Chronicles chapter 14 David becomes famous Then Hiram, king of Tyre, sent some of his men to David. They brought wood from Lebanon's cedar trees. Men who could work with stone and with wood also came. They built a place for David. David realized that the Lord had made him strong as king of Israel. He knew that God had made his kingdom great to help his people, the Israelites. When David lived in Jerusalem, he married more wives. He became the father of more sons and daughters. These are the names of David's children who were born in Jerusalem. Samuel, Suba, Nathan, Solomon, Ibha, Elisha, Il, Elphilet, Noga, Nipem, Zephyr, Elshama, Biliada, Elphilet. David fights the Palestines. The Palestines heard the news that David had now become king of all Israel. So their whole army went to look for him to catch him. When David heard about this, he went out to attack them. The Palestine soldiers arrived at Ephraim Valley. They attacked the people there. David asked God, should I go and attack the Palestines? Will you put them under my power? The Lord answered him, Yes, go and attack the Palestines. I'll help you to win against them. So David and his men went to Bar Pirajim. There they won the fight against the Palestines in that place. David said, God has helped me to sweep away my enemy like a flood of water. So they called the place Bar Pirajim. The Palestine did not take their idol with them when they ran away. David told his men to destroy the idols in a fire. Once again, the Palestines attacked the people who lived in the valley. So David again asked God what he should do. This time God told him to not march straight towards them. Instead, go around behind them, then attack them from the other side where the Polar trees are. When you hear a noise in the tops of the trees like a marching them, marching man, go out to attack them. Then you will know that God has gone in front of you. He will knock down the Palestine army for you. So David did as God had commanded him to do. His men chased the Palestine army all the way from Gibbon to Gizhu. So David became famous in very every country. The Lord caused the people of every nation to be afraid of David.